Good morning, and thank you, Jackie. Last week, Jan and I were out for a drive, and we saw a couple of buildings, major company buildings, along the Queenie that their flags were at half-mast. We didn't even think at the time of the anniversary of COVID-19 pandemic. And one year ago, we gathered, as Jackie has already said, we gathered to worship and to pray right here in our sanctuary. But then one year ago, on March the 11th, the World Health Organization declared COVID-19 a global pandemic. Church buildings went into lockdown and worship in person was suspended. Little did we know how fast and how dramatically that this pandemic would change our lives. It changed every aspect of our lives. Our churches changed, our communities changed, our world changed. We have experienced many, many, many blessings during this time. But we also have losses to grieve. We remember what is missing what has been altered, what we have longed for in this past year. We remember also the many lessons that we have learned and we've become far more adaptable and we've learned new skills and abilities and we've had time to think about what is precious to us, what really matters the most to us. Today, I just wanted to take a moment to remember to acknowledge the problems that have increased as a result of the pandemic, the loss of jobs, those who have fallen into poverty, the homeless, and those who have difficulty paying for their bills, those who are struggling with addictions or living in abusive situations. We remember our seniors who have had to live in isolation. Today, we remember that right here in Ontario, 7,000 people have died and tens of thousands have become ill with COVID-19. We grieve as a community and we also grieve as a church family. During this year, 19 of our members and adherents have gone to be with the Lord, none of whom died of COVID. And we are aware of 19 other very close family members of our people who have died from various causes, including COVID. We have not been able to celebrate their lives in a way that we really would have wanted to remember them. We know that we have not reached the end of this crisis, but we also have many great reasons to look forward in hope. The hope of our vaccines and those that have already received them, and that restrictions will soon be eased. We live in hope that is grounded in God's faithfulness. We can lean on his strength and his wisdom as we move forward to face the challenges that are still ahead. Continue to encourage one another, embrace hope, and as Jackie reminded us, I read on her face page this morning, Facebook page this morning, we are closer now than we were then. So stay the course as best you can. Let's take a moment to reflect and to pray. Almighty God, you are our strength, our comfort, and our hope in this midst of this pandemic. And as we mark the end of one year since the declaration of the COVID pandemic, we thank you that you are with us. We do not have to be afraid. We thank you that we can come to you with all of our burdens and the concerns of our hearts. And we remember the deadly claim 
this pandemic has had on so many. We remember the millions who have died. Lord, we also remember and we give thanks for the tens of thousands of frontline workers who continue to risk their lives for us. And we thank you that vaccines are being distributed. And we thank you for all that we have learned and the many blessings that we have received. Fill us now with your inner peace and fill us anew with hope and joy as we move with you through this pandemic. And we ask this in the name of Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen.